How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. So, <clears throat> last time we finished up with the side stories of trust, let's move on to understanding. Yes, begin this side story. The club meeting is suddenly interrupted by the sound of the door, causing Monica and Sayori to turn their heads. So basically, this takes place literally directly after Trust ends. The door opens halfway, then stops. A face, a face peeks inside. A face that seems familiar. Yep, Yuri. I called it last time, it's Yuri. Um, Sayori, Sayori are you okay there? Sayori's eyes widen, recognizing the girl. She very conspicuously mouths to Monica. It's her! It's the girl! It's true. The girl standing in the doorway in, is none other than the girl Sayori had come across reading alone in the classroom. Thanks to Monica leaving a flyer on her desk, it seems she's found her way to the club. Are you here for the literature club by chance? Um, am I in the wrong place? Uh, no, you're not. This is the literature club. Please come in. The girl fully steps in the door, but continues standing against the wall, avoiding eye contact. Sayori continues to fail, containing her excitement. <laughs> it's happening! Oh my gosh! Okay, Sayori. Thank you so much for coming. Sorry it's a little empty. Um, I'm Monica, and this is Sayori. We run the club, the literature club, even though it's just so far. Uh, us so far. But. What's your name, by the way? I. You weren't listening, were you? I'd like to join your club. Already? Wait, really? Are you sure? I, I mean, I should be good enough. <laughs> Everyone is welcome here. You don't have to be good enough. Oh. Um, do you want to have a seat? We'd love to get to know you. The girl nods. Sliding over to a nearby desk and gently sitting down. So what's your name? Yuri. I'm Sayuri. This is Monica. Yeah, um, is nobody listening today? Sayori, I already said. Nice to meet you. Um, do you like fantasy? Like books? Yuri looks at Monica. Fantasy is cool. Yes. Have you heard of Annabelle Dupont? Uh, I can't say I have. Oh, well, she's my favorite author. I'm on her fifth book, and it's just... Yuri grins and presses her knuckles against her cheeks in joy. You can borrow my books. I wouldn't mind. You're really in far. You're really in for an incredible experience. Um. Uh, Monica stammers, caught completely off guard by Yuri taking control of the conversation. She glances sideways at Sayori, silently asking for help. I'd love to! Ah, oh boy. Yeah, Sayori's a bit too excited. It sounds like you're really into them. So he must be great! I am so happy I found this club! Oh, I'm so stupid. I left all of my other books in my locker. I should have brought them. Yuri quickly stands up. I'll be right back. I'll go get them for you. <laughs> you probably only need to bring one for now. Sayori nervously says that, noting to herself, 
the considerable heftiness of the book that Yuri set down on her desk. True. Okay. I'll go get the first one, then. Yuri exits the club room in a flash, leaving Monica and Sayori silently exchanging glances. Oh my god! I wasn't prepared for this! How do I handle someone so intense? I have, like, no experience with fantasy, except maybe stuff that I read when I was a kid, but it's probably, like, a joke compared to what she's into. I'm sure it'll be fine. In fact, I think it's neat that we have different people who are into different kinds of literature. It'll be fun to learn from each other. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree, but what if this is her only interest? Doesn't it kind of seem like that? Monica, don't you think you should be more optimistic? We have a new club member. There shouldn't be room for anything but being happy. Okay, then. If you say so, Sayori. I'm excited to get to know her more, aren't you? Yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry for being so hasty. I just got really anxious all of a sudden. It's because you're afraid of not being able to take the lead. <laughs> what the heck? It's kind of scary how you can point things out like that, Sayori. <laughs> I mean, she's not wrong, though. I just like learning what makes people happy or sad. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You'd probably be great at helping Yuri feel comfortable here. Maybe you could take a break from helping me with the administrative stuff and just focus on spending time with her. Yay! That's exactly what I wanted to. Okay, Yuri. Sayori. It's... You're basically Yuri with a sigh. Eesh. Besides, Sayori lowers her voice. I'm probably gonna need all the time I can get. She taps her fingers against the daintingly chunky book. You're. S <sighs> yeah, left sitting on the desk. Right afterwards, the door opens to reveal Yuri's return. My book! Her breath is slightly heavy, which, combined with her short time gone, indicates she may have ran at least part of the way. She makes her way back over to Sayori and sets the book down on her desk. Just as Sayori feared, the book Yuri brought for her is just about equal in size to the one already in Yuri's desk. Well, there are probably a few things you should know before getting started on it. There are some things that are more explained in other books to take place in the same universe, so going over those would be good to keep you from getting confused at the start. So, this is pretty much a book version of The Elder Scrolls. Or Fable. Uh, um... Sayori nervously interjects. Well, I was thinking that maybe today we could just get to know each other a bit, little bit more. You know, I think, like, if we're going to be reading together, then I would like that. From across the room, Monica smiles and nods at Sayori, while Yuri isn't looking. Oh. Okay. Yuri sits down, then looks at her book, then glances around the room, showing no indication that she has anything more to add. So, what made you decide you wanted to join the club? Well, I like reading, so I was immediately interested. I mean, literature. I had no idea that someone was starting a literature club, but that's my fault, since I haven't been paying attention to any of the club recruitment advertisements. I only 
find out because she... Yuri glances over at Monica. Monica! Monica came into my classroom and put the flyer on my desk. Suddenly, Yuri's face darkens, and she shakes her head at herself. It was so stupid. I got too nervous and couldn't even look up, so she just walked out. It took me several days just to come here because I was afraid that Monica told everyone how inconsiderate I was. But I decided that was probably irrational. Wait. No, that was totally my fault. I felt so bad after interrupting you that I just like walked out and stuff. I was actually really happy when you would that you would come by. Yuri exhales in relief. I always seem to interpret things as the worst possible scenario. Likewise. <laughs> well, I was really nervous to come here for some other reasons too. Such as there being too many people. Not that I mind that much. But I have a really hard time having to meet a large number of new people at once. Well, lucky for you, you only have to meet two. Right now. <laughs> so, it's actually amazing that it's just the two of you. I definitely came at the right time. Aw, that makes me happy! Okay, Sayori. I'm proud of you for working up the courage to come. Yuri smiles warmly to herself. I've never really had the privilege of sharing my interests with others before. It's so hard to find others who are into the same things I am, except online. So, I thought the Literature Club would provide a chance for me to do that. What kind of other things are you into? Like, genres? I don't know, just anything, even if it's not literature. Oh, uh... Just things you would think are dumb. Sayori pauses a look of concern on her face. How about I'll tell you about something I'm into, and then you can tell me about something you're into? I, I, I suppose that would be okay. Okay. Well, I'm pretty into, like, crafting things. Like making cute little collages or decorating things like cards or jewelry boxes. Okay, Sayori's way too excited. My room's always cluttered with random stuff because I keep buying things to make gifts for my friends. Oh my gosh, that's hard to keep up with. Vocally. <laughs> but then I put it off until the last minute. <laughs> so yeah, that's something kind of silly that I'm into. You sound quite creative. No, th not that much. It's just that you'd be surprised by how much you can do with scissors and glue and stuff. So, I have to share something that I'm into now, right? Sayori nods. Um, well, I guess I'm into nature. Okay, I guess, yeah. That I love nature! Monica! I'm gonna start a nature club! <laughs> no you're not! Uh, no you're not! You're stuck here with me now! Oh, uh, I'm not! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, I hereby appoint you as vice president of the literature club. There, now you're stuck with me. <laughs> well! Responsibilities. Oh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I interrupted you. Go ahead. It's fine. Yuri pauses, feeling awkward after having gotten cut off. I like going out into the woods or to the park. Just places where you can walk or sit and not have any people around. So you like sorry, like scenery that's very serene. Serene scenery. That's a tongue twister. I'm saying it slowly because of that. It's peaceful. Just like 
Just nice to kind of remove myself from everything that matters and let my racing mind operate autonomously for a while. When do you like to do that? It just depends on my mood. Okay then. After school, on the weekends, whenever I feel like I need it. Wow! I feel like I would never have the time to do something like that. I find that we have a lot more time than we think we do. If you don't let it slip through your fingers. Yeah, that's reasonable. The three continue their conversation, led primarily by Sayori, but with Monica chiming in every now and then as well. Monica had intended to leave it to Sayori and focus on her own work, but she found it difficult not to join in. Before they knew it, the end of the day was upon them once more. Oh, it looks like we should be wrapping up for today. So, are you two going to be starting on the book the next club meeting? That's the plan! I'm so excited! Sayori beams. Yuri collects her things. Once packed, Yuri wordlessly waves to Sayori and Monica with a gentle smile. Bye! As Yuri exits, Sayori enthusiastically returns her farewell. Once again, Sayori and Monica are left in the club room. Sayori, you are a lifesaver! <laughs> I didn't do anything, I just talked. Still? Besides, it really lifted my mood. It feels really nice when I can put my energy toward other people like that. I can concur with that statement. She was really excited to be included, you know? It made me happy. Well, <sighs> my gosh, now I'm using Yuri's voice with Monica. Well, there's no doubt in my mind that she'll have a great time here with you engaging her. How are you feeling about starting the book with her next meeting? I'm kind of scared, but I think she'll be happy as long as I'm trying my best. I think you'll do great. After the surprise of a new club member, it seems like everyone has their spirits lifted with something new to look forward to. Hmm. Okay, cool. Another school day ends. Swallowing her anxiety, Yuri makes her way to the club room, expecting to be the last one to arrive. As she opens the door, she's surprised to find only Sayori in the club room. It's club time again! Monica went to the computer lab, so it's just us today. Is that okay? Yuri silently nods, unable to make eye contact. Um, I'm sorry about yesterday. Huh? Sayori, t I literally just did that. I did this because I kind of figured. Sayori tilts her head, unsure of exactly what Yuri is talking about. Well, I mean, the way I got overly excited to share my books and how you had to stop me so we could talk first, it was so inconsiderate of me. I got too excited and forgot to think about everyone else in the club, so... <laughs> Yuri, you didn't do anything wrong. I thought it was cute how excited you were. You okay, Sayori? Well, still, I think I, sh I changed my mind about the book. We don't have to read it. Because I, I know that you were just humoring me anyway. In retrospect, it's rather obvious that nobody was truly interested. But if you like it so much, then it must be worth sharing. I've already decided I'll join the club, so you don't have to try so hard to entice me. That's not what I was doing. A moment of uncomfortable silence stretches between the two of them. Great. 
This is not gonna go well, is it? First we got her Monica and her having problems, and now these oops. Oh crap. Well I whatever. Anyway. <sighs> now it's these two. Um well the thing is we don't even have any club activities yet. I mean Monica and I have just been working on recruitment stuff mostly. So it just sounded like something fun that we could do together. Reading your books? You know, like, as a club activity? That would be okay, right? Why am I being so resistant to this anyway? It's exactly what I wanted in the first place, and you're being so nice about it. I really don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry for being like this. Nobody's getting upset about it, Yuri. You don't have to apologize. Just tell me if there's anything I can do to help you feel more comfortable here. Mm. Sayori pulls her desk up against Yuri's and sits next to her. The book in question is already on Yuri's desk. Peering over, Sayori reads the cover of the book. Duskbell. Part one of the Everlast Saga. <laughs> it's Duskbell by Annabelle. Sayori, you're hurting my brain. Stop it. Sorry, I'm ready now. Oh, right. You should probably get some paper. Yuri grabs a spiral notebook of hers and tears out a few sheets of paper. Wait. How come you need paper? Oh, it's useful to draw things out sometimes, like maps, timelines, family trees, or just for taking notes. Notes? Uh, I, I mean, um, yeah, yes, that's an effective strategy. <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> exactly. I'm sure it will be especially helpful for someone new to the genre. Sayori's joke flew completely over Yuri's head. But thinking about it, she decides that it's probably for the best that it did. <laughs> well, I'm not used to having company though this through this, but I'll try to help make it as accessible as possible. I trust you. You're like super smart. Oh, please. Yuri tries to dismiss the compliment, compliment, but she can't hide her smile and light blush. You can't generally, you can't generalize intelligence. I'm only smart in the things I have a lot of experience with, which apparently is a lot of things. Contrarily, I'm awful at anything involving real people. So socializing. Trust me, you're not the only one, Yuri. That should be evident enough from the two days I've spent here so far. So in my eyes, it's everyone else who comes off as smart. Especially you. No! What in the hell, Yuri? Sayori? Okay. As I said before, Sayori is basically Yuri with a sigh. Sayori rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. Um, excuse me? What the hell? You're such a sweetheart when you're not being shy. Um, even, like, look at Yuri's face, even. Here, I'm gonna move myself, hold on. We are going to move over, and... That was delayed. Monica, can you come back? Monica, please. Wherever the hell you might be at this point. Um... Ugh, that looks disturbing. That is very disturbing. I don't know how I feel about that. 
And Sayori does it to Natsuki in the actual story, too. I think she did it to Natsuki. Anyway, would you like to get started? Um. <laughs> okay. After the minor diversion between them, the two get back on track with their planned club activity. Yuri begins to guide Sayori through the basics of the fantasy world her story takes place in. The more of it she details the races, factions, history, elements of magic, the more questions Sayori seems to have. So it's like D&D for those who haven't played it before then. But despite Sayori's expectations, Yuri eloquently guides her through it in a way such that it's fun to follow along. It becomes evident that the word by I was about to say world word binding, but sure, world building aspect of the story, not just the story itself, is one that Yuri finds her passion leaning towards. How do people come up with this stuff? It's like the exact opposite of the kind of writing that I do. What kind of writing? Oh, like poetry and stuff like that. The things I write are like just putting down the feelings that come into my head, you know? But this is like... There must be so much planning and hard work. <laughs> Chandlery, there is. Sire, yes, there is. Oh, you're into poetry? I think there's an appendix that includes some of the kingdom's written works. Like poetry and folk songs. No way! Well, you just piqued her interest, Yuri. Good job. <laughs> you actually piqued her interest. I don't know if beforehand really did, but you definitely did it this time. <laughs> Yuri giggles. Filling Sayori's heart with happiness when she realizes it's the first time she's heard Yuri laugh. It means Yuri must be having fun. Anyway... I think we can get started reading now, if you're ready. Okay, but I can't read very fast. Oh, that's fine. I'm very patient. Patience is something I pride myself in. Good. Hmm, I see. Sayori jots, Yuri is patient into her notes. <laughs> okay, you You know what, I'm just gonna call you Yuri with a sigh from now on, is that okay? Because I keep screwing that up. Hey, that's for the book. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I'm kind of glad you're patient because I need that sometimes. <laughs> a, a lot of times. Sayori flips through the first few pages of the book. Getting past the table of contents. Good job, Sayori. I mean Yuri with a sigh. Okay, chapter the room becomes silent as the two of them begin to read. But the silence only lasts for a moment before Sayori speaks up again. What does Vindicated mean? Ah, well, in this context, it essentially means that he was proven innocent. It's okay to ask questions, right? When is it not? Of course. Sayori turns the page. Are these footnotes? Mm -hmm. A lot of the dialogue has cultural references that require explanation to be understood. Uh... The two continue reading. Yuri's relaxed expression remains unchanged. Meanwhile, Sayori's expression grows tense as she tries to make her way through the dense text. Up until now, their expressions have been reversed, with Sayori easily navigating social situations and Yuri struggling in them. But the tables have turned. Wait, are they talking about the past right now? Or the present? Where? Right here. They're talking about the past. These paragraphs are describing a flashback that Barnas is having. But they didn't tell me that! It's implied from the context. Sayori's not a very good reader, is she? 
Sairi rubs her temples. The two of them continue with Yuri with a sigh asking, oh my gosh, Yuri with a sigh asking fewer questions. She begins to understand the value in the notes as she finds herself referring to them somewhat often and even adding to them. But her reduction in questions comes not from her getting used to the reading, but rather from her fearing that she'll come across as stupid. At last, Sayori reaches the end of the chapter. I think we can stop here for now. Okay. Sayori takes a deep breath and closes what little of the book she's gotten through so far. So, what are your thoughts up to this point? Um... Yuri with a sigh tries to find words. Simple. <sighs> there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. Well, I don't know. When it takes me so long to read and understand things, it makes me feel really dumb. <laughs> but I really like how into it you get. It makes me want to keep going and to keep doing my best so I can see it what, the way that you do. The relaxation in Yuri's expression fades. I see. Yuri quietly gathers her things. We can continue tomorrow, right? Yuri pauses, then shakes her head. We could do something else tomorrow. But! I'm sorry. Wait, sorry for what? I don't understand. I I'm sorry. I don't want to do this anymore. That's all. I'm sorry that I made you. Oh boy. Yuri leaves, and Sayori looks like that, which can't be good. You aren't making me. Sayori is left alone with her words. How did this happen? We were having fun just a second ago. It's all, it's my fault. I said something stupid and hurt her. Oh boy. There's the side of her that we have not, that we kind of have seen in the main story, but not. Who am I kidding? We've seen worse than this in the main story. I think. I don't know, there's too much going on at this point. I should have just told her that I enjoyed it. Monica trusted me with this. It's the only thing I'm good at. And I still messed it up. Well, what if she doesn't want me to come back? Drowned in guilt, Sayori stares blankly at her desk, spread with notes. The book sits next to them. Right. If she wasn't coming back, then she wouldn't have left the book here, right? Unless she just forgot to take it with her. <laughs> this is horrible! Was it really because she thought I wasn't enjoying our time together? Or... Maybe she wasn't enjoying our time together because I'm not good enough? Oh my gosh, I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> I mean, I am, but I don't like where this is going. I probably let her down so much by having trouble following along. Yeah, I'm sure if I was smarter, she would be having so much more fun. I need to do better for her. Oh boy. That's... Great. What are the new pictures? Oh, the, wait, what? And this, okay, those are the defaults. These ones up here are the defaults. This is for, okay. There's Monica. Finishing side story, trust one. Trust one. Did I get anything else? I wonder. Um. Doesn't look like anything else quite yet. What's with the promo pics? We got this one, which is Halloween, I guess. Ah, for 2019. Huh.
So if you select specific words in the poem game, these unlock, I think. I don't know. I might have to look that up because I do want to try to unlock all these. These ones will probably be unlocked over time, but I don't know how. I'm still a bit faint on that. Well, oh, music too. Oh, it's the soundtrack. Duh. Anything else new? No? Okay. So next time we will start on Understanding Part 2. For right now, I am going to leave this video here, though. <sighs> I got to put a sigh somewhere. Instead of just saying Yuri with a sigh all the time, I I need to sigh sometimes. Anyway, we'll continue with Understanding next time. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got a suggestion for a visual novel or horror game, whichever you'd like to see on here, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other visual novels that we've done on this channel to this point? I think there are just two right now. Click the link to the bottom right hand corner trying to take you to that destination, or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, Click the link across right here, and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!